I don't think his story's over yet. Why is that? Well, he took a reserve, I think. I saw something. $2.3 billion. Yeah. But no, nowhere near as much as some people round thought. Round one, maybe. Oh, round I don't one. know. I don't know. It's not over? I, I don't have any idea, any facts, but I would, uh, I would doubt that they'll get off as, it, that lightly. You know, you look at the, how much James Corden yeah. has been targeted, um, and it seems like we're in an environment where the government is out for blood, so to speak. Uh, is Bank of America next? Well, who knows? I think Brian Moynihan's done a hell of a good job, though. I think he's has done a real first-class job, so that's n nothing against him. But you don't know. These guys uh, in Washington are going to the piggy bank as often as they can go. So they're, they're dipping. You think it's over. They're dipping back again. J.P. Morgan, I thought, was done. Then they came after him on Madoff. So there's never an end to this piggy bank attack. Does it, does it, does it bother? I mean, when you say piggy bank, you know, that's... It implies just what I mean. Yeah, you don't like it. I hate it. You don't think it's justified at all? I mean, the scale of these things is wild. The scale of these things well, is so wild. were the losses. I mean, what, what, what were the issues was also high scale as well. I mean, you can't fight the government, let's face it. So they win. The <laughs> game is over. They win. So when they come after you for a number like this, it's now becoming sort of a... Yeah, but TARP got repaid, right? I mean, well, they, they repaid what they owed the government. Look, Madoff, take Madoff. That's the craziest settlement in the world. The SEC was told on Madoff. They brought the data to him. This fellow brought the data that Madoff was cheating. The SEC threw it away. And they get J.P. Morgan? Come on, give me a break. It's crazy. But what about all of the bad mortgage loans, Eric? I know you really looked into that as sort of bundling up bad mortgages and selling them to investors who really didn't know any better. Look, you know, they sold them to pretty smart. Benny May got uh, part of this settlement, okay? They didn't know? Come on. Look, Lots of blame to go around, but it seems like the easiest or most expedient thing to do these days is to just blame the bank. Because the they're the bank. ones with the money. Yeah, and the piggy bank. They got the money, go to the bankers, and everybody sort of hates them right now. So it's, it's a public <laughs> policy. It's actually, specifically on, on, on B of A, because they just reported yeah. and they had a good yeah. quarter, relatively speaking. A couple of years ago, maybe more than a couple of years ago, people were criticizing Bank of America because so much of their business was concentrated on America. Happens to be Bank of America, but they generate something like 85% of the right. revenue here. Doesn't look so bad anymore, does it? No, they, and they've done a nice job. You've got to give them a lot of credit. They, they were down as low as you can get, and Brian's brought the team back. He's done a good job. What do you think makes him a good leader? Uh, a nice even keel. A nice uh, steady as you go. Uh, he's a lawyer. He, uh, that's one, one well, notch. That's, 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 that's one notch against him. That's one notch against him. That's one against him. But he's done a solid job. I mean, he's really focused on the team. He's gone into take costs. Look, look, look at his cost takeouts. They're big. He's done a real job.